today on our nematode lecture that parallels the addition PowerPoint, we'll be discussing eustromblides. These are very disgusting, for they are found not in the intestines, but more in the muscle tissues of the fish. They are also characteristic of these very tough eggs that they have. <laughs> so the difference between a direct life cycle and an indirect life cycle is the presence of an intermediate host. The eustromglides do not have either of these, for everything is a lie. Eustromglides have a complex indirect life cycle. This means there can be a variety of intermediate hosts, um, but in our case, since we're focusing on a freshwater fish, the final host is generally a bird. That looks, I want to say like a gray herring or some herring or something. Um, so, it is also important to note that, as previously stated, these are, they lay eggs. They're not oviviparous or, or viviparous, means they don't give live birth. So these eggs get pooped out and then go into, this is like an oleoroheat worm, or um, that is then ingested by a fish or a variety of fish, which um, that is a problem. And once they, yes. So here, as we've discussed before, um, previous parasites are treated with dewormers, but those are more of intestinal parasites. This is a musculature parasite. So to remove it, you need to mechanically rip it out or use the technique of culling, which is selective slaughtering. So there is no fortunate future for a fish that is infected with such a parasite as this one. The key to not having a fish infected with this parasite is prevention, which you can do or reduce the spread by removing the final host, which in our case is a bird, by using sanitation techniques, and then removing the exposure of the source, which is the uh, toothpick worms, or oleorochites is what we had stated earlier. Thank you, goodbye. Oh, this is the last lecture.